Well, back here at the rec, I'm joined by Exeter Chiefs head coach Rob Baxter. And Rob, for a long part of that game, you were certainly in it, just slipped away near the end. Yeah, and, and that's very much how I'd sum it up. The game kind of slipped away from us, almost eased away from us as Bath exerted a, a bit more pressure and got some momentum that we then couldn't contain. Um, and I think you know, ultimately we're, we're a little frustrated with uh, some of the some of the way we played, but, also, but at the same time we showed some qualities that we're much happier with compared to, to last week. Uh, and that, that's kind of uh, kind of. Uh, uh, I suppose like a, uh, two sides of the same sword, really. And when I just said to the guys, it's the same, exactly the same thing. We showed some, we showed some good qualities. We showed some qualities that we can build on, um, but at the same time, we know we can play better. Um, and that, you know, that's no disrespect to Bath. Bath were very good today, but um, you know, Bath didn't make us throw the ball on the floor or drop ball. You know, that that was, uh, you know, at times they did obviously through pressure. And at times they put pressure on a breakdown. Of course they did. But uh, the, quite a few times we were in possession and, and we did some silly things with the ball. Um, and that kind of just didn't allow us to really create, create pressure. I mean, I can't remember, I don't think we had a kick a goal today, yeah. penalty wise. And that's obviously, you know, you, you've got to take your head credit to that, to Bath for that. But at the same time, you've also got to go, well, you know, because it wasn't like we weren't in their 22 or in their half. So for us not to take a shot at goal, kind of more than anything probably shows us the, the tail of the game, really, that um, we didn't really have that continual pressure on Bath uh, in their third. Um, and, and that's obviously what you need to do to win games of rugby. About four or five times you got into their 22 and got penalised at the breakdown, didn't you? But yeah, breakdown was an issue for us. But as I say, you know, breakdown, you know, they've got a couple of players who are very good at the breakdown. Obviously, you know, we want to be better than that. And we talked about that at half time. I think we actually improved our breakdown a little bit after half time. But the problem was we, we then didn't have field position or possession enough to really, to really get after them. Um, and I think, and again, you know, it'll be a tale of us looking at errors we made that have hurt us. Um, I think we actually reacted to kind of getting Bath under pressure quite badly quite a few times in the first half. We were forcing Eris and Bath and, but not doubling up and, and getting the next guy, you know, balls bobbling around on the floor and the next guy who picked it up would often make a break. Now there's obviously this, there's, there's a quality of player but at the same time I think sometimes we've had them under a bit of pressure and we kind of, oh this is quite good, we've, we've kind of got you. Uh, we didn't really finish, mo we didn't really, I would describe it as a bit where we didn't finish enough moments off. Yes we finished a couple of breakaways very well but did we finish any other moments, pressure moments today? Well, you've got to say no. You know, we had pressure line out situations, we had pressure scrum situations. And did we come away with points or shots of goal? No, we didn't. And I think, like I say, ultimately that, 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 that the pressure off back and allow them to be chasing the bonus points at the end of the game. When they've got current England internationals to bring off the bench, that seems to make a difference in terms of the driving more in the scrum. Oh, yeah, well, they've got a very strong squad here, you know, and, and, and ultimately that's, that's, that's what will happen, you know, they'll be able to add moments to the game. I think, as I said, you know, I've, I've just said to the players, if we'd have come here and won today, it wouldn't have won us anything, it wouldn't have won us the Premiership, it wouldn't have got us qualified for Europe, you know, it would have helped, it was a collection of points. So losing, you know, in the same way, doesn't necessarily take anything away from you. You know, coming away to a top four side and not getting the result doesn't, it shouldn't define your season. But you know, what does, what does, will define our season is games like next week against Gloucester. And I think, uh, I, I think we were better today, and I think we'd be better next week. And that's. That's the important thing: is to, to make sure we kind of we the, the sale game becomes a bit of a uh, a bit of a blip that we don't bounce through for s several weeks. You know, I want us to have a, a big reaction next week. We're at home. You know, we enjoy playing at home. We've you know we've had a tough Christmas period. And, you know, and I know you know that's part of sport. And you've got to get on with it. But we haven't had a home game over the Christmas period, um, which. It's pretty tough because you get your big crowds and you get your big moments and you get a big atmosphere. And we haven't had the chance to savour that yet. So hopefully, you know, a big crowd next week at, uh, against Gloucester. Um, you know, and as, and as kind of, like I say, performing somewhere near the level we know we can. Um, like I say, and making that a very important game for ourselves. A team that sometimes gets criticised for not having try scoring wingers. It's nice to see two of the boys run in tries. Yeah, that's right. I mean, like I said, I, said they, I mean, they were slightly, you know, they were slightly breakaway in their nature, weren't they? And obviously, Bath would be frustrated by that, but. You know, I think, as I say, the, the game kind of ebbed away from us as we lost control in the second half. And you, the, the, we can you can wrap it up in all kinds of ways. You know, we we have to be better if we want to come to Bath and win. Um, are we capable of beating Bath? I certainly think so. And you know, I'm looking forward to the return fixture because you know we did have them under pressure at moments, but we've got to we've got to make something of our pressure. We can't I say our pressure. Ha your, your pressure has to come to something else. You don't win games of rugby. Start the new year, Gloucester at home in front of a sellout crowd. Can't think of too many better ways to start the new year. No, that, exactly, and that's what I said to the players. Next week becomes a very, very important game because you've got to get back to collecting points quickly if you want to maintain your position, any position in the league. Um, obviously, you know it's great to be in the top four, but you know we ha we have targeted certainly qualifying for Europe, um, the top European competition next year. 
and, and that could very, you look at the group of player teams around us, you know, they're, they're closing in now um, and we've got to start, you know, putting some space between us, you know, and, and as I say, I still want us to be attacking the, the top four because we're there or thereabouts, but as I said, you know, we, we have to win home games, um, we have to collect points away from home. I think today was potentially a missed opportunity because I think we were certainly good value for a, at the very least a losing bonus point and for large parts of the game as you say we were in it we were in one score of, of turning things around so I'm not I'm not kind of distraught by today's performance at all because like I said we showed a lot of good qualities and as I said in, in a lot of other Premiership games today may have been enough to show more pressure uh, it wasn't today you know great good to bath for that um, but as I said we we've, we've got to concentrate ourselves a bit we've got to be better than we were today well thank you very much for joining us no problem thank you.